Good evening. How are you doing today? This is Tina, and uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you some hands on experience on Bean Factory and the application context. So, let's start. Uh, I'm gonna still using the IntelliJ. If you watch my other video, probably you are familiar with that. Okay, I'm gonna create a Maven project to maintain our dependencies and the whole project structure for us and the artifact ID I'm gonna use in Spring Core okay and I'm gonna finish okay uh, new window okay so enable and you have to create your structure is like this the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a dependency, okay? Dependency, which is a Spring. I'm gonna use in Spring context. If you just using the Bean Factory, you can just add the Spring uh, Beans. That's enough. We're gonna use in the latest version, which is uh, 5.5.2, .5 okay? So after you, you are done uh, this step, you can go to the Maven, and you can see the dependencies. And you can see here under the spring context, you will have the LP bean call expression. This is uh, all the things actually used in the spring context. Okay, so we're done this part. Uh, next one is uh, what we can do is first let's create a package. Okay, and uh, then we create a class which is, uh, suppose we call email service. Okay. In the email service, we're gonna have one method called uh, send email, how about that? A string receiver and a string message. We I do here now, okay, here is a uh, fake, okay? Uh, send, uh, me send, uh, Uh, message. Uh, how about this one? Uh, message uh, uh, is being sent to receiver like this. Okay, fake. Okay. Um, probably here it's better you provide the actual logic. Okay. We just are doing something thick. And next one is this part. Have a man. Okay. Let me don't do any more. Okay. And man. Okay. So now, if I want to have, a, I want to using this method, the send email or send a message by the email service. What you gonna do? First, you have to get an instance of email service, right? So what we did before is we have email service, email service equals new email service, right? And then we use email service start send email. Like uh, uh, let's using some fake email, okay? Uh, let's use a test and say hello. Hello from uh, Miss Exchange, right? And when we run, we can run as the main method. Oh, it's very slow the first time. Mm. Okay, this one Java five is not supported. Supported, I think I have to uh, change it here. Compiler. Java compiler uh, using nine. nine. Okay, let's do one more time. You can also specify the Maven plugin inside the palm, it still works. Okay, so now the, you will see the message hello from missing is being sent, right? So this is what we did before. And we spring, we want to spring to manage the beans for you, right? Which is the IOC container where it contains all the beans. How to do that? We have to have a configuration, right? 
I'm gonna have a configuration. I will put inside of here, let's call spring.xml file, okay? And uh, here you have to define your beans here. I don't know the syntax for that. I will copy this part, okay? The head headers, okay? Uh, let's go here, here, and then beans, okay? And uh, inside of here, we can define beans, each bean, okay? And the first bean, you can give a identifier for the bean. We will call email service. And you have to give the class, okay? Sign email service. And then in, inside your map, we are no longer using new because once you define a bean here at the runtime, Spring will try to initialize the bean for you, okay? And it's maintained by, it's created and wild by the bean factory. And uh, so we can, if we get a bean factory, then we can get the bean, which is the Spring created for us, right? So how to get a bean factory? I will show you the first way, which is already deprecated, okay? Bean factory, see here it's in the bean. Uh, you can bean factory equals new XML bean factory. Here, uh, <coughs> class path resource and we'll give a spring dot XML. This one is uh, deprecated, but we can still use. And uh, because uh, they suggest us to using application context instead of this bean factory, that's why. But for demo purpose, I will just show you, okay? You can get a bin, you have several overloaded class. You can give string S, this one is identifier. And if you give a class pass, then you don't need to do download, uh, you don't need to do the down testing. If you're using this one, then you, it will return object for you. So you have to do the down casting. We will do this way. And what's the ID is this one, okay? And we give the class, which is type, which is email service dot class. When you do this way, you don't need to do the down casting. Email service, email service, email service, email service equals. And when we do that, and let's add some changes. Okay. And then run one more time. You will see hello from is, is being sent to this uh, email, right? This is one way. There's another way. Since this class is deprecated, what you can do another way is like this. Bean factory, bean factory equals new class pass XML. This one, and we give a spring dot XML. Okay, and uh, this one actually return application context. But if you want to use in Bean Factory, you can do like this way. Okay, but normally when you have a um, Spring project, most likely you are directly using the application context instead of the Bean Factory. Okay, because application context is what. It's a, a sub-interface of the Bean Factory. It gains all the features of Bean Factory and provide advanced features, okay? So I actually I have already run. You will see it runs successfully. Okay, this is uh, another way to get a Bean Factory, but a more recommended way is instead of using Bean Factory, you are gonna use in the application context. So normally what you will see was application context, Context equals new class pass XML. And here we were using the context. Okay, and when we run, it still works. Still works. And for the to get application context, you have uh, uh, three ways actually. The first one is using class pass XML application context. And in this way, you have to make sure your spring.xml is under the class path, okay? Which means under the project. There's another, uh, uh, another class called a file system. 
let me see if I can find it. That's another one called new file system XML. You can also do like this way. Oh, when you're using this one, you can put your spring.xml in any of the in any folder, which is from C drive. It doesn't necessarily to be under the class path. That's the difference between them. Okay. So this is the two ways. And uh, another thing here, you can have multiple. It's not necessary to have one. You can have multiple XMLs. And you can also even to put the package, which is a package to locate for all the XMLs if you want. Um, so this is the XML version. You define a bin. And then you have uh, your application context to load the configurations and then you can get a beans. There are other ways you can do. Suppose we don't want to use XML, we want to use the Java config, which is the Java classes to do the configuration, right? Let's have another one, app config, okay? So first thing we add a configuration, which means inside of this class, we can define the beans, right? Bean, and then public, uh, email service and the email service okay this by default the method name gonna be the identifier for this instance here I will using return new email service okay so let's go back to this one how can I get this instance okay first I'm gonna show you here Okay, email service. I will show you there are different email service. Okay, then how to uh, get the e uh, get this email service? Okay, because we are using the job class. There's another class. Okay, context one. Okay, equals new annotation config. Then you specify that uh, uh, app config. You, you. App, what's the name? Config dot class. Okay, and then you can still using context one dot get bin same thing. Okay, uh, the name this ID here is the method name. You can use in qualifier. I will show you later. Okay, it's not the main point about this uh, video. And then we were using email service, survey, email service one equals, and what we can do is system out, right? Uh, email service one, we can see if they are, they are the same, they are different, okay? We can still use the email service one dot send email and uh, test uh, one at gmail.com and uh, hi, okay? And uh, let's run. Okay, uh, we run successfully. You can see this instance. This instance we get from the Spring XML. This is this instance, and this instance is get from using the Java classes. They are actually two different instances. Okay, and uh, now we learn two ways. One is using the XML, the other one is using the Java classes. And there's a third way, because in Spring, we actually have three ways to do the configuration, right? What are three ways? One is the XML, the other one is the Java classes. People will say we have the third one, which is annotation. But actually, you cannot using annotation alone. You either using annotation with XML or using the annotation with the what? Java config, right? Java classes. You cannot using annotation alone. So after we talk about uh, uh, like component scan other things, then I will show you the last version, which is uh, annotation. Okay. So this is a video for uh, this is a content for this video. We talk about uh, the bean factory and the application context and how to retrieve the beans, which is created by the Spring IOC container. So uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.